What's up you guys, it's Madison Beer and these are my favorite follows. I could cry looking at Maya. She is seriously, I don't even have words. I seriously might cry. I don't have words for this dog. That is quality content. That's the content that I sign up for daily when I check Instagram. I honestly want to unfollow every human being that I follow and only follow Maya. I want to meet her owner really badly because her owner is so cute and just like, they always do these tricks together and Maya does this one trick where she'll have toys all over the room and she'll be able to like clean it up obviously for treats. I think I probably follow at least 50 animal accounts. Which is, is that aggressive? That's a little aggressive. So um, Sick Boy Worldwide is one of my best friend's tattoo accounts. He's an amazing tattoo artist. His name is Skylar. He's really sick. And a lot of the tattoos on his page, he's actually are on himself. He has so many tattoos. I love also like the style that he posts the photos and I like how it's kind of all a theme and it's all conceptual. So if you ever need a tattoo and you're in LA, Sick Boy Worldwide. I have two tattoos. I have a bee on my ankle and then I have the word honey on the inside of my lip which I could show you. So Epic Lava is an account that I stumbled upon because I follow like the satisfying videos, everyone has them. I was scrolling through that one time and I just was so fascinated by this video of lava being poured into the ocean. And it was just so cool to me. So I, I then, you know, found this account and they just post the craziest videos. And wherever this is, I just want to go and take like a shovel and play with lava. Sign me up. So Built by Beer is my dad's account. He is a builder, clearly, and he builds like luxury homes in Long Island, which is where we're from. He posted a photo the other day and he made the caption like barrel ceilings for the client in Roslyn. And I was like, barrel ceilings, you slayer. And everyone's like, what are you commenting on this account? Because people don't really put together that it's my dad's account, but I love to troll him. Sorry, dad. Jonathan Paul, he's an amazing artist. And when I was moving into my new apartment, I really wanted one of his sculptures. Amazing melted lollipop sculptures. They're huge too. He makes one that's like nine feet tall or something insane. And they're just these like literal lollipops and at the bottom of the lollipop, it's all melted. They are very expensive. So I never ended up getting one, but they're really, really, really cool to look at. You know, I, I live vicariously through the images that I see. Whoever's watching this, if you want it for my birthday, buy me a melted lollipop. I would appreciate that a lot. <laughs> Hippy Dippy Crystal Candles. In LA, there's a flea market every Sunday at Fairfax High School that I go to religiously. And they have this stand that they make crystal candles and they're so beautiful. And like, they just seriously like are the cutest couple in the entire world. Like, I'm sorry, how cute are you if you're like married for however many years and you're like making crystal candles for the flea market, I love you. I think I bought like 10 candles from them one time and they were like, if you follow us on Instagram, we'll give you a discount. And I was like, I don't need a discount. I'll just follow you. Cause like, I want people to see your candles and stuff. When they saw like my name and stuff, they were like, we'll totally just like give you the candles. I was like, no, no, no. So Indulgent Eats is this girl who I actually don't know her name, but I've been following her for a really long time now because I'm such a foodie and I love to see just the ridiculous foods that she eats all over the world. This one time she posted a video of, it was like a grilled cheese with mac and cheese and a fried egg in it. And I was just like, where are you going to get these things? <laughs> I need them in my life. Everywhere I go, when I'm on tour, I'm like, Indulgent Eats, help me out. I'm in Belgium, where do I go? But I feel like Instagram is like a place you go to compare yourself to other people and you go to, you know, bring yourself down. So I try to not be on it often. And if I am on it, I will be on Maya the Polar Bear and I'll be on Indulgent Eats and Epic Lava and all that stuff. But I don't know, I try not to just sit and like, you know, scroll through other people's lives all day. Definitely check out Maya the Polar Bear. She's my number one.